Good morning, Nesties. It's Netta from Netta's Nest, Florida Zone 10A. And I'm here this morning. It's a whopping 70-ish uh, degrees or 60. No, it's probably like 69. Six, no, it's not even 70 degrees. It's about 64 degrees. It's a nice, cool morning, but I'm most excited about because I'm here just checking out my babies here that are doing wonderful. Um, I had a um, San Marzano that was up here that germinated and some um, cucumber that germinated so now they're in this little level here because they're reaching for the sun so up here um, first level I put them up here there's no light and then there's light down here and then those are the tallest ones down there uh, but anyhow that's not the best news hold on let me show you what I'm really excited about yeah it's Saturday morning um, I gotta watch my step I might as well just do a little tour also uh, out here with me a nice little cup of coffee. Try not to step on the bombs. I picked them all up. But um, you see, I'm walking out, walking out, walking out. Roselle, Roselle, Roselle. <gasps> a bloom. My first flower. Isn't she lovely? Yes, she is wonderful. A flower that made me sing. I have these little... Oh, my, my phone is adjusting itself. Go ahead on. I don't know what I done push. But I have a, lots of these little knobs on here, which is great. But that was nice that I'm just sitting there looking at my other lovelies. And I'm like, oh! babies well not babies but a flower so welcome to the nest beautiful welcome to the nest now I don't know what's next after this um I don't know you know just following the trend I planted this tree this bush there's the stock on it down there it's huge it's like you know okra hibiscus all of them in the same beautiful family but do you see? Yay! She made it. Oh, wow. She made it. I'm excited. I'm excited. So we're back here. Look at this lemon, guys. Come on. Focus. Look at that big old lemon. And I have yellow flowers coming through. I'm excited about that. Cool, yeah. My all my um not all but my uh mint just I don't know. I cut that one off. This one's coming back, but went kaput. Here's another yellow flower. All yellow flowers are planted in here and vegetables. Oh, I got to sneeze, y'all. I know which one that is. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of stuff in this bed is stunted. I got another yellow flower. That's that calla lily I planted down there. It's a grapefruit. It's diseased. Yes, it is. This is that happens here. The citrus in Florida. I don't know what happens to it, but hubby had figured out how to get it back on its toes. <laughs> well, I have some. I kept pulling out these little things I thought. And I was pulling up. Uh, uh, I pulled one out and it was a garlic. Like that one I know is a garlic. That's grass. That's a lime. Persian lime. That's another one. That's a garlic. I'm not going to pull that up. That's an onion. 
but here's some babies. That's lettuce. I put that out here. That's grass. I don't have any gloves on. I'm not digging in this dirt. Onions over there and a few brassicas scattered. They were kind of stunted. I bought that um, Morris heading cabbage somebody. Uh, you see what it looks like. But I bought it because all these right here were so stunted. But um, I've been babying them. And they're making a comeback. But look at those greens over there. And that tomato. I gotta be able to... I'm gonna put a brick right here so that I can walk through here. I'm sure that snake, she's over here somewhere. Look at those. Best time to get them in the morning to take pictures when they're standing up nice and pretty. And these tomatoes. They're making a comeback. I don't know what kind they are. I'm impressed with the stock. It's doing pretty good. There's some disease on the bottom leaves, but if you can survive through till January, you're going to do great. This pepper bush is looking wretched. I'm determined to pull it out. And the squash, ugh, I have some squash I need to harvest. It's been giving me little ones at a time. Mm, there's some more, that's some more lettuce I put out here also. And I thought I put some more over here. Then some onions that I'm going to separate and scatter them further throughout. That one survived. Now, I can't tell you what these are growing. Something's peeking through over here with a... Probably a basil. <laughs> that's beautiful lettuce. That's some... I don't know if that's... I don't know what that is. I thought it was sage. There's some new green. That Swiss charge is very pretty. It'll be by noon. It'll be leaning over. This one over here is struggling, but it's trying to come through. Get a patch of mushrooms. But over here, at least I got... What well, I don't know what type of cabbage brassica this is. But it's... Oh, look at there. There's a slug. But he's just eating the wine. I topped off the um, Thai basil. <laughs> but as long as I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brassicas over here in this bed, and I'm letting them grow, I'll separate them and get them in a good orderly fashion so they can grow healthily in here. I think this is going to be my forever home to my Barbados. I moved it. I didn't realize it wasn't getting any um any water and all the leaves fell off. So yeah guys, that's it. I am going to harvest today. <laughs> Mosquito biting me. Rosemary. What else am I harvesting? Um lemongrass. And basil today and I'm gonna dry it that's what's on the harvest list today now over here I've been slowly scouting out my onion I planted some out here hoping that it would take and survive because I probably plant a hundred onions in this little spot and it looks like only five of them came up so I transplant more out here yesterday <clears throat> this is my pepper that I bought from the store it has blooms on it. And there's another one up over there. There's one right there. That whole stem was stripped from leaves and it has new foliage. And there's actually a green bean on one of these plants over here. Oh, somebody's gonna try to give me fruit. And I see a flower over there.
I like this red okra. And those have been on there for about over two weeks. And I'm let, letting those three go to seed because I want the seeds. And that one made it. I had to cover that one up. The puppies was giving it hell. I covered that one up, Sebraska. But I don't know how, but these are doing fine. So I cover that one up and it's taller than these. <laughs> but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little one down there, eight. So that's good. And I can spread those out and let them grow happily over here. This is a little lettuce. That's a green bean. And I put some more green bean along here. And there's onion out here. I put that one in there. Puppies like to run through here. I put beans all along here. Nothing germinated. Oh well. I put that in that little newspaper holder. And it protected it and it's growing. I did three of them that way. I'm getting okra today. That's why this tree is hanging on, but it's so diseased and looking a mess. I pulled one up yesterday. That tomato's holding on. That one's holding on. And I put that cabbage in that little container and it's finally sitting up looking good. Yeah, that's what this is looking like. But it has a pepper on it. And there's another one in, on this side over here. And that's a little pepper down there. I gotta get around the mulch in this area. I gotta get those three mulch, definitely. Those are some green beans I put down. I Those are from what I had previously. And those are black beans that I had previously and I put them out there. This stuff will have stuff growing. I smell potty. And then it shuts it down. My ginger is doing remarkably well. Get that down in there. I'm not gonna harvest it until the spring. You know, some black um, purple whole peas didn't get in the ground, but a lot of them germinated. My dogs, I wish I can train in a potty at one spot. My rose is coming back. Lilies are coming up. I had some greens over here. Oh, there's one surviving. Puppies, they jump right over this area when they're coming. Look what somebody came and mowed down every little pieces of shit mowed down all of my brassicas I had in here they all were like this so there's one two three four five gone 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 they left these two so I'll be moving them because and that was just a matter of throughout the night isn't that something? Because they were all in here and I separated them. So I'll get those out of there. <laughs> they came and ate. <laughs> Man, please. They ate that mess down, baby. Okay. Somebody's out here eating too. These are my. Um... You saw what them old cinema, cinema biscuits did? This little cucumber is my. Wait. That's my other purple. I, <laughs> yeah, I see that. Those are broccolis I bought. These, I think, they're broccolis. I cut back my peppers. They were looking horrible. Everybody over there is looking good over here. They're standing tall. Mm <laughs> hmm. I'm definitely going to move those and put those on higher ground so nobody can eat those up. Yeah. That says, no, that's not what that is. 
Those are broccolis. I know that for a fact. What nature do for you? You see what it does for you? It will. It will do you in. <laughs> Somebody's been digging, but I lift those strawberries up, and they're doing a little bit better. This is new to the hive. Um, no, not to the hive. To the nest. New to the nest. I lifted this one up. It looks like it's doing better. Lifted that one up. So they're standing up pretty tall today. Good. This I'm determined for this to be the strawberry patch. But you know what? It was a brassica in between here. Hmm. There's a little one back. A couple of them back there. They're stunted. They should be big. Somebody's coming through. See that one? See that one? You see them? They're coming. Dragon fruit still sitting up here on the porch. Gotta find it at home. That's the yellow dragon fruit. Good morning, Nug. Chip went back to bed. These are that um, seven top, seven cup. These are turnips. No bottom turnips. I put them all right there. I've never had turnips before. I wouldn't eat them just like I wouldn't eat mustards. But mustards have now become my favorite green. And I put a bunch of them there. I found this little baby growing. I put that in a little container. That one, as far as I growing, put that in the container. I bought this one. I bought this one. Bought that one. Surrounded this one by turnips. So I got quite a few turnips growing. This is some type of purple tree collar, Mama told me. It's a rare breed. She says she sent them to me. Okay, I don't remember planting them, but apparently I have one, two, three, four of them in this whole row. There was a big old frog out here yesterday. And Koya and basil. Those are doing good. I did plant some in between them all. I plant some jade green beans. We'll see how they become established. Got a pepper coming. Couldn't tell you which one it was. Got a little tiny tomato. And I got it on there. Oh, there it is. A little cherry tomato coming. Got some more peppers coming. Got a pepper right there. Yeah, I'm going to um, cut those back back too. But I would have, but they had so many blooms on them. But I cut all those back. But look how this is. This is my Cuban ale. And I thought I didn't have it, but it's giving me leaves. I'm still tripping how that mold down my my babies. So in between here we have um, green beans growing. This is so this whole bed is full of this beautiful yellow flower, some green beans that's finally caught onto the trellis, pole beans I meant, cabbage, collards, broccoli, and cauliflower and peppers. And flowers and coyas and moms that are running it back for this year. Thank you, moms. More green be pole beans. I planted they finally make it a comeback. Get them going over there. Those are gonna be turnips in there. <laughs> That's empty. Ha uh ha! -huh. Look who's making an appearance. You know who that is. Cucumbers! Again! <laughs> I won't give up on the cucumbers. Got a whole onion bag. This is all lettuce. Oh, still got babies over here. They haven't found these. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to say these are cauliflower. Got a, I think these are cauliflower. 
Those are carrots. Quite a few stuff over here. That thick row right there is lettuce. Mm. All these little little ones coming up. Everybody was thrown out here at the same time. I don't know what these secondaries are coming up. What are they are? What they are? But they coming. I've been out here slowly thinning these out, putting them in that little pot there. But I think I'm gonna leave them alone. And asparagus that I've had seems like forever. Can't walk through there. There's a some more over there. New foliage. Little peppers, carrots, mustards. Mustards. The struggle box here. Is this blooming? It sure is. Those are blueberries. It's blooming. Oh. Maybe the rest will follow. Them completely died, but I cannot move that box. Look at this. That's the eggplant, y'all. Y'all see her? She made a comeback. She made a comeback and she gave me an additional baby. Gave me a mustard green. And look at that. I don't know what these blackberries are gonna do, but oof. mustard and flowers. Some of the mustards are taking well. This row is taking well. Uh, not so much for that one. But I can't wait to see what all this. This is Alyssa. <laughs> yeah, that tower looks good. That's Nematode Tower. I can't wait to fill all this in. Yeah, it's a hot mess. Whatever survive, <coughs> survives. It's another mustard I found straggling. <coughs> Strag struggling. And I put over here. They're not dying back yet, so I'm just going to let them have at it. I have two sweet potato containers. This big gray tote. And they're growing. And I don't let them grow too far. This is, that's it. They probably can grow up that, that if they want to. But they're really well maintained right in there. This is red um, romaine lettuce, red and green. And those are mustards and collards and cabbage. I don't remember what that one is, but it's growing. That's a basil. Some more onion. There's some more onion. That's a flower. That's onion. There's a tomato. Oh, that's, that's a tomato in there. But it's growing from over here, huh? How far? I'm going to get you off. You're diseased. God, I put some more turnips over here in between the two basil. All right, guys. The nest is booming. The nest is booming.
Good morning, Nesties. Thank you for coming into my home. Thank you for inviting me into your home and have a beautiful day. Come again.